Continuing appropriation and projected savings for 2020 are incorporated in the beginning balance to cover the proposed expenditures. This proposed budget has also considered the inputs of the members of the City Development Council and our sectoral representatives. With the limitations brought about by this pandemic, a number of consultations were done to make the process more inclusive and more participatory. The 2021 executive budget will reflect the priority of this administration in providing basic services for every Pasigeno. Amid the state of calamity that we are in right now, government resources will be maximized to ensure and upgrade the welfare of our residents, as well as the proper management during this COVID-19 pandemic. Una, servicio pangkalusugan. Universal healthcare. The coronavirus pandemic has proven our commitment to ensure effective and efficient medical services to our residents. The years, uh, this year's current expenditures reflect a huge allotment for health expenses and emergency procurement of items for a medical response to effectively manage the virus. Kaya nagpapasalamat po ako sa ating sanggunan panlungsod dahil pinasapunin niyo ang malaking budget natin para sa servisyong pangkalusugan nitong 2020. For this proposed budget, we will still heavily invest on adequate healthcare personnel and services, sufficient medicines and medical supplies, and improved facilities and equipment. With the creation of the City Health Department, Majority of the health personnel will be regular employees with appropriate compensation and benefits. Likewise, the Passive General Hospital will have additional regular positions to fully cater for residents. Universal health care implementation will remain a priority for us. Pangalawa, edukasyon. Edukasyon de kalidad para sa mga masigenyo. Distance learning, the distance learning modality for the present school year, posed a great fiscal challenge for us this year. To ensure greater access to education, this administration has provided learning gadgets for all public school students, including those who are in our Pamantasan Lungsod ng Pasi. Qualified private school students are also integrated into the scholarship program. Teachers and school personnel are also assisted to ease their burden as we shift to this new learning modality. For 2021, education for all Pasigenos will still be a topmost priority. The proposed budget will enable the education sector to adapt to the change of learning, this learning modality for the next school year. Ikatlo, housing, pabahay para sa mapanlabok at maunlad na pamayanan. With the health protocols observed, the city government will continuously enjoin the community in the crafting of a people's plan to ensure a comprehensive and more responsive housing program. We have earmarked a sizable amount for actual housing projects following our policy framework of increased participation in the design and implementation of our housing initiatives. Pangapat, social services. Abot kamay na servisyong pandipunan. Delivery of social services to all of our residents will remain a priority with emphasis on the marginalized and vulnerable sector. Targeted service for human development will be data-driven. Programs will be designed for the judicious utilization of public funds and will respond effectively to the needs of our citizens. On the map, personal services, tapat at pahusay na lingkod bayan. Our commitment to increase the confidence of our constituents towards our local government unit continues. Since the start of this administration, we have made great strides in our goal of having competent employees through an institutionalized program for capacity development, promotion and incentives, and provision for personal benefits. Three departments have been rationalized, our now city health department, our general services office, and our peace and order department. This proposed budget will reflect the increase of regular positions for these departments to complement their enhanced functions and responsibilities. Today, we have filled up 51% of the regular positions in the personnel schedule, and we will continuously do so in the coming years. 
Again, I deeply express my gratitude to our local finance committee, to the staff of our budget office, and all the budgetary units for their commitment to finalize the 2021 appropriations ordinance. It was a difficult and challenging budget process, but through their support and commitment, we have succeeded. Rest assured that this administration will continue to fight for the tenets of good governance, transparency, participation, and accountability. Once again, I enjoin the presiding officer and the members of the Assembly of Pandungso to favorably consider the passage of the 2021 executive budget in the service of the Pasigenio. Maraming salamat po.